Public concerns have come to light through the exchanges between AOC and MTG. Okay. But Ms. Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she's apologizing. No, no, no. Terry, 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 hold on. Then after Mr. Perry, she'll be recognized. Then Ms. Green. I'm not apologizing. Well, then okay, you're reserve not the right to your word. Terry, I am you're not you're apologizing. apologizing. Now let's go. Come on, guys. Why don't you debate me? And Mr. Chairman, um, the, the, the minority no, chair you're not. Yeah, you're not. You don't have enough you're intelligence. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Okay, move to strike I'd the. Like to strike I move to strike the ladies' words. Move to strike the ladies' words again. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. Oh, they cannot take the words. There's another motion to strike her words again. Please All right. Okay. Here's, here's, under here's the correct. The correct apology, Miss Green. Do you ask unanimous consent? Do you agree to unanimous consent to strike your words? I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll strike right. my words, that, but I'm not apologizing. Without objection. Without not objection. Apologize. Right the, right. the public is increasingly worried about the erosion of courtesy and civility in parliamentary proceedings, highlighting the underlying political tensions and the impact of personal attacks on how leaders are perceived. Maintaining civility and respect is crucial, as is focusing on practical policy discussions rather than personal jabs. Critics argue that personal insults from both AOC and MTG distract from important legislative tasks and undermine the integrity and efficiency of the Board of Supervisors. The motivations and psychological dynamics of their confrontations are also of interest. MTG's refusal to apologize and her challenges to AOC can be seen as a rebellious assertion of her autonomy and intelligence. On the other hand, AOC's demand for an apology and her stance against MTG can be interpreted as an effort to protect her moral and intellectual standing.